and we got the deer who's here. Let's see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a nest in there. There we go. So something has its nest in there. G'day, this is New Growth and Creative Page, and I'm Matt. I'm currently down here, and uh, this is just another episode of War on Weeds. So I'm down here at the farm, and I'm sorry, not the farm, the creek, I should say. And um, so I'm actually here to remove some more privet, and uh, there's a few groves down here. There's that further grove that I was down doing those um, doing, doing those other trees like uh, my first episode and uh, I'm actually trying to target these uh, these uh, uh, alocasia or calocasia species I'm trying to target the actual uh, thickets of uh, privet here you can see how tall they get probably almost like five meters that one's about like seven and uh, probably eight and then you can see here just the lack of growth underneath these trees and this is what they do they come in the seeds drop a bird brings it in or it comes in on the water and they just come in they start growing and you get these thickets so today i'm gonna actually remove some of them and i've already started but we'll get into that and i'll show you just a little update on what's what i'm doing on the war on weeds so let's get into it and get the chainsaw out meow, meow. Make sure you like and subscribe as well. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it. So I'll be um, dropping this uh, mulberry bush, mulberry tree, I should say. Uh, it's uh, well established here and it's shading up the creek line and any other plants that want to grow in here. So I don't have to take it down. I know they're very delicious to eat and there are actually invasive deer around here that will eat this. So they kind of, there's deers helping this tree uh, get around as well and uh, a lot of birds and stuff like that and uh, I'm going to have to cut this down and, and poison and get rid of it. deciduous but you can obviously see that um, this is a uh, um, you know still shading out this area even though it's a deciduous tree so yeah we'll take this down and we'll do an undercut so then this tall bit one doesn't fall on me or the camera so I'm gonna do an undercut Get out of here! <laughs> like it's a slow fall. <laughs> nice. That is nice. That was a nice fall. <laughs> you can see already the uh, the amount of light that are in here now. <laughs> and I'm just I'm gonna let that fall across there and just die. I'm not gonna try to pull that out because it's a big swamp here. And I don't want to get my get that muddy. This is kind of on the edge. This is actually a creek line through here. This is the what I call the creek that you've seen in the uh, other videos of War on Weeds. And you can see here, Wandering Jew. Now, really bad weed as well. Um, 
introduced obviously and uh, just absolutely covers it and mats the whole whole uh, ground here so it doesn't mind shade so um, that's unfortunate that under these trees it's loving it so this is one of the bush regens bush regeneration person's worst nightmare so this uh this is also mixed in with brambles as you can see there rubus um and we've got honeysuckle all along here on, on that fence and all the way through this is not an area i'm looking after this is kind of this this fence here is literally the borderline to the property but it, i've cut some other privets down there and uh yeah they've uh they've been removed as well There's, these are only little ones but already that one was a medium one already the amount of light in here and there's uh some native uh bursera in here bursera so they can get some more light now i can hear it cracking already it's still cracking over there but yeah they've got native bursera here and it's kind of along this uh creek line and they do like some sun bursera and uh so this will provide the bursera um, with some more sun and they hopefully will thicken out the birds like uh, nesting in these bursera and the flowers as well they're very um uh, insects and birds will go to them as well so we kind of want to get them happening through here as well this is a very flood prone area so these privet have an awesome time sitting here just sucking up the water the moisture and it's only see this line here that's where it starts going up on the slope and uh this all this area just floods and all right through you've got melaleuca um and they 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 like having damp feet too but we don't want these privets here as you can see i've got another grove here it's another grove here as well and uh yeah that's a little update on the on the creek <laughs> and we got the deer who's here you can see toe there toe there back of the hill another one there they uh they live in this thicket here and um obviously deer aren't here should be here in australia <laughs> um they eat a lot of the natives and they do spread a lot of the uh the weeds and also they do uh dig up and damage a lot of the soil and and the plants they step on and this is another plant this is the parrot tree i think um this is actually a really bad bad is that a nest in there oh that's a nest in there there we go so something had its nest in there it's a long gone now there's no there's no there you go I'm gonna have to remove this um and there's a larger one here of the uh there we go <laughs> that's massive i don't know how i get this for that little chainsaw there but i'm gonna have to have a go at it and yeah i might just have to cut it and then poison it uh, what i'm gonna do is cut some bits into the the um the cambium layer which is cambium layer is just underneath the bark layer and that's um the layer where all the uh trans transportation of the water and uh, minerals and stuff like that is sent up the tree so you want to tap in that you don't want to ring back the whole thing you just want to get a few cuts in there so the tree is still alive so it can take up that um poison so i'm not gonna splash it around i'm just gonna insert it really lightly and that's all you'll need i'm using uh blackberry uh tree and blackberry poison and uh that always does a job here so yeah that's a little update on the creek um i'm getting through it next will be this thicket here but uh yeah anyway just a little update all right i'll see you later i'm back to it bye
So now I'm going to cut, uh, do the incisions on this coral tree. Now you've probably been down Wollongong along the coast and you probably have seen these flowering along the hills right up, a co right up against the coast and they got that almost looks like a parrot beak flower in clusters. Uh, I think they're red and a little bit of black and they uh, yeah they um they flower and they, you can see them from a mile away and yeah so they they're evasive along the pretty much the south coast um and east east coast so yeah we're gonna just uh cut in and uh just poison this and make this a uh a dead tree so i was doing a lot of cutting today and the chainsaw was actually flat Aww. um so <laughs> I couldn't finish off that mulberry, but well, I poisoned it up the top there, just lightly dabbed it with some uh, blackberry killer. And you can already see the differences. I've got a photo of it. I'll put it up, I was standing here last time. Put a photo up of where it looked before, compare it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do like a little wedge cut in this uh, coal tree before it gets too dark. I don't think I'm out of here. So I'm gonna just do a wedge. It's got a really thick cork bark, this tree. And uh, so you gotta kinda of get through it. There you go. There's the bark. And get through to the uh, actual cambium layer. I'm gonna actually dab a lot in this cut. I'm just gonna put some in there. There we go. That should that should give it a really bad time. And so I'm gonna actually cut this one, the little one, to the ground and paint that one because the chainsaw is not gonna get through that and plus it's flat so yeah we'll get into this other one. So, this one's going to be easy. And, uh, very corky bark, like, almost like cork. And, uh, I'm going to... Sorry about the camera work. I actually forgot my tripod. Oh. <laughs> Silly me. Silly Matt. And, um, but I'm doing it, any I'm doing it anyway. So, I'm just going to cut this. There we go. Noise. Uh, poor bird nest. Oh well, the, um, it was abandoned, so I don't think anyone's gonna, any birds gonna come back. I'm gonna get some of this blackberry stuff and uh, just make sure I drain the brush. I want too much because I'm right next to a creek and I don't want this going into the uh, river system, so just enough. There, there we go. Just to soak in. And that should deal deal with it. I'm gonna pull this branch out. A bit. That's gonna be in there. Little path that won't like that. The deers actually go straight through here, so I'm gonna pull it on the bank here. There we go. And yeah, there we go. So that's the coral tree sorted out, that one. There's uh some more down here, they're much more bigger. Uh, there's one there that's at least almost 20 meters up there and he's going so next we'll be i'll be targeting this pivot patch and uh yeah that'll be sorry a lot of rubbish here too um from all the floods from the housing development up the creek but yeah um i'll get at this uh privet next time so anyway i'm gonna be off and uh yeah <laughs> i feel good doing that Hope you, hope you like watching this video. I'll see you guys later. Make sure you like and subscribe. Keep an eye out for more videos. Alright.